Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson here, GED lesson. Um, this one that we're going to do is on probability, and it's on page 296 of your Kaplan GD book, 2019. Um, well, let's get started here. So basically, with probability, we're going to be talking about two different types of probability. Um, as far as the GED brings up on this particular page. So basically what this page talks about is theoretical probability, as you can see here, which is sometimes called simple probability. And then there is experimental probability. So the distinction between the two is, for example, <coughs> um, so we have this this kind of pie here with different numbers on it and we have a needle which we can spin and say okay let's see how many it's a pie of eight okay so there is only one number one here so if we were to spin this chances are that one out of eight times um, we would get uh, number one okay now, that is theoretical probability. So if we do experimental probability, uh, using the same little pi here, we spin this, say, eight times, then we may get land on three, three times out of eight times. Okay, so that's the difference. Theoretically, it should be uh, that we land on it one out of eight times. Um, but through an experiment, we may land on that more than one time, okay? More than, yeah, you can land on it several times. Of course, the more you spin it, go up to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, you know, I think it will, it'll actually change. It won't be like 3 out of 8, but, you know, it might even out over time. But that's just uh, giving you an idea of theoretical probability and experimental okay and here's the formula we use the probability ratio favorable outcomes okay divided by possible outcomes okay so here there's eight outcomes and i think the one they were talking about was landing on four okay so that's why they have the two there Anyways, without further ado, let's get started here. Okay, so express probability as a fraction, decimal, and percent for questions 1 through 5. So a game has 50 wooden, uh, just to further explain this, you should know your decimal and fraction equivalents okay I've expressed this multiple times in the other lessons because um, it's pretty important it's like knowing your times tables okay so express um, a game has 50 wooden tiles player sorry players draw tiles to spell words if 20 of the tiles are marked with vowels what is the probability of drawing a vowel from the tiles. Okay, so we have 50 wooden tiles, okay? And we have 20 that are vowels. So if 20 of the tiles are marked with vowels, what is the probability of drawing a vowel from the tiles? So we can see here it's 20 over 50. That is our probability. Okay? If you want to find that in percentage, you can just, um, you can, well, you can either you know that that's 40%, or if you want to raise this to 10 by doubling this. Can't do this with all of them, but this one I see that you can. Um, sorry, 100. Then double this one to 40. Alright, 40 over 100. We have 
<clears throat> um, or you could do 0.4. Okay, so we have either 40% here, 0.4, or the fraction, 20 over 50, which actually should be simplified to 2 fifths. Okay, which is using 10. 10 goes into 20 2 times, 10 goes into 55 times, and it can't be simplified less than that. So that is for number one, y'all. Um, now we have number two, a spinner has five equal sections colored red, uh, colored either red, white, or blue. Sounds like the American flag. After 40 spins, a player has the following results. Okay. What is the experimental probability of not spinning blue on the spinner? So let's see. <clears throat> the total is 40 spins. Blue is let's see, 10, 20, 25, 29. Um, oh, uh, no, sorry, 28. So. There's 40 spins, minus 28, we know is 12, okay? So, spins that were not, that did not land blue were 12, okay? This is experimental probability, okay? Because they actually did this experiment, and this is the results that they got. So, this is the probability that they will not land <clears throat> um, any blues be 12 over 40 uh, we could simplify this a 6 goes into 12 2 times does 6 go into 40 no it does not well maybe it does but let's see let's do it this way 2 goes into 12 6 times 2 goes into 40 20 times and we can break this down even further. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 20 10 times. So the fraction is 3 tenths. Okay. The fraction is 3 tenths. Um which we know is 30%. Okay. And in decimal form, it is 0.3. Since they do ask for fra for dec fraction, decimal, and percent. <coughs> okay, so excuse me, this is 30%. So that would be it for this. The likeliness that they do not land on blue is 30%. Okay. Um, so, number three here. <clears throat> there are four red, four blue, and two green marbles in a bag. If one marble is chosen at random from the bag, what is the probability that the marble will be green? So we have 10 total marbles, okay? Two of them are green. It says marble will be green. So two of them are green out of 10. This one's pretty easy, guys. So two tenths is, tw okay, that's frac, as decibel, it's 0.2. As, and you should know this if you know your equivalencies by knowing your equivalent chart, fraction, and decimal. And then we also know that that is 20%. Okay, so you have 2 tenths, 0.2, and 20%. Okay, a movie theater sells, this is number 4 by the way, a movie theater sells 180 tickets and 60 children's tickets 
to a movie as part of a special promotion. One ticket will be chosen at random and the winner will receive a prize. What is the probability that the winner will be a child? So you have 180 plus 60 is the total amount of tickets that were sold. So we have 240. Okay, and that is 180 plus 60. And then we know that the amount of children whom tickets were sold to is 60. So, um, we know that 60 goes into itself. One, well, 60 goes into 240 um, four times. You could do this by 30. I mean, if you're really not experience, experienced with this, you could just do twos if you like. Two goes into 60 30 times. Two goes into 240, whatever the half that is. And then um you know keep working your way down then 2 goes into 30 etc <coughs> etc et 2 goes into 180 blah 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 or 120 okay so this is 60 goes into 44 times 60 goes into itself one time so as a fraction we have 1 fourth okay which um, what number is number four here? So as a fraction, you have one fourth, which in decimals is 0.25. Okay, one fourth is quite easy to remember generally because you know one fourth of a dollar is what? It's 25 cents, and here we have 25 percent is also one quarter of a hundred. Remember that percentage is an amount or percentage out of a hundred always. So these are your answers here for number four. Okay, number five. A spinner has six equal sections numbered from one to six. What is the probability of spinning either a five or a six? Well, let's see, sec has six equal sections. So we have six, okay? And the probability of spinning either five or six, that's two numbers. So two over six. Okay, so that is your probability, which would be one third. Okay, if we simplify it, two goes into six. Yes, it does, three times. It goes into itself once. One third, or we have 0.33, or 33, and one third percent. Okay? So those are your percentages there. <sighs> Not percentages, but answers. Okay, now let's move on to number six. If a card, okay, question six and seven refer to the following information. A deck of 12 cards is marked with following with the following symbols. So there's 12 cards here. If a card is chosen at random, what is the probability of selecting a diamond? So how many diamonds are there? Out of 12, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 over 12. And you should know that half being the, if the numerator is half of the denominator, or the top number is half of the bottom number, that means that it's exactly half, which is, as we know, C, 50%. Okay, now, number seven. If a card chosen at random, if a card is chosen at random, what is the probability of selecting something 
other than a club. Something other than a club. So we have um, three clubs here. Okay, which means 12 take away 3 is 9. The probability of selecting something other than a club is 9 over 12, which can be simplified. 3 goes into 9 um, 3 times. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So here we have 3 fourths, which is 0.75 in decimal. And it's 75%. Okay. Um, yeah, that was number seven. So those are your answers. Uh, did they ask for a specific one here? Yes, three-fourths. A is your answer there. Okay, now number eight. Okay, let's read this first. Questions 8 and 9 are based on this table here. Aaron flipped a coin 40 times and made this table to show how many outcomes were, were heads and how many outcomes were t uh, tails. Based on Aaron's data, which uh, what is the experimental probability of getting tails on a coin flip? So, 40 flips. And there are 16, well, it landed on tells 16 times, okay? Let's simplify this. Um, number that goes into both of these, the highest one, if possible. 8 goes into 16, 2 times. 8 goes into 40, 5 times. So you have 2 fifths, okay? 2 out of 5 times. So here we go, we have 2 out of 5 is the probability of landing tails. Um, now the last one, based on Aaron's data, what is the experimental probability of getting heads on a coin flip? Now if we want to be smart, we know that tails is... 2 fifths, so this one must be 3 fifths. But to just go ahead and do it, let's do 20. There's 24 um, here, so 24 over 40. Okay, 8 goes into 24 3 times, 8 goes into 40 5 times. Can't be simplified any less, so here we have probability of three out of five times heads will be um, selected or it'll be land, it'll land on heads so that is it for probability thank you guys for sticking with me um, through this and if you enjoyed it or it helped you in any way please hit the like subscribe button share it with a friend that you know may be studying for their GED as well and um, see you next time